A notice document about the closure of all our restaurants due to investigations Ooh. regarding one of the founders being- <laughs> Oh my gosh! Holy jeez! Oh my lord! <laughs> no! <laughs> what the heck? Oh no! And welcome to GT Not Live, where today we're filling our nights with more blood. It is the return to Bloody Nights Part Dose, uh, episode one. I feel like we were able to do a lot without having to do a whole lot. We got most of the way through day three, night three, I guess, um, with rarely having to check the cameras, although that did end up biting us towards like 4 a.m. So I think... There is a likelihood that we're able to get through at least day night three and night four here. Hopefully night five. Who knows? Who knows? Or maybe this game will quickly ramp up and be too difficult for me, at which point I'll give up and cry in a corner. Uh, but before I get to depressing things, like, you know, getting brutally murdered by a bunch of animatronics that rip my face off based on the, the cutscenes at the end of this thing. Uh, question for Ash. Hi. How was your weekend, Ash? Oh, it was pretty crazy. I did so many things. So, so many things. Th that's great. So, true story, and I don't, I don't know why this is, but every Monday, we're filming this on a Monday. This is going up on a Friday. Friday. Great. Okay, we're filming this on a Monday. It's going up on a Friday. Every Monday, I come in, like, oh, how was everyone this weekend? And like, we have what eight, nine people in the <laughs> office right now. Like, seven of nine are always like, meh, or like, no, oh, I didn't do anything. It's like. Don't squander your youth, my friends. <laughs> Do not squander. Gather ye rosebuds well ye may. Carpe that diem. So anyway. So I'm glad to hear that someone just... Nor, like, oh, uh, you know, I just marathon Grey's Anatomy all weekend. Which, great. At least that's a thing. Um, that's That was a Sam thing one time. Um, Michigan Grandpa, for those of you who don't know. Um, which I don't think clarified it for anyone. No. But uh, anyway, so Ash, okay, you had a good weekend. What was it? Oh gosh, I did so many things. I got my eyebrows done. Like, like waxed or plucked or Both. threaded? Both. Like what? Really, all of the above. <laughs> yeah. Waxed and threaded. Oh, plucked. Waxed, waxed and, plucked. and plucked. Okay, yes. waxed and plucked. And then okay. But that happened, right? And that was pretty crazy. And then I got a color analysis, which was pretty crazy. Oh, like style theory? Yes. Nice. I did, but. Um, my veins are very misleading, and I kept getting wrong <laughs> answers, um, and it stressed Sorry. me out way too much, and I just needed someone to tell me. My veins are misleading. So, um, uh, for those of you who don't know, uh, that is a reference to, uh, we did a style theory a couple weeks ago about, maybe it was a month ago or whatever at this point, where it's all about, like, analyzing your color season, right? So, based on the tone in your, in your skin, like, your, your undertones in your skin, as well as, like, your paleness and, and a variety of other factors, it can determine, like, what colors you look better or worse in. And we've, we've been doing all these experiments to see, like, is there truth to this? Is this all just BS? Like, how how real is this? It's actually a really cool episode, and uh, there's a couple of tests that you can do at home that are very easy to determine your color season. And one of them is the color of your veins, where uh, if you are blue veins, you're a two season. It breaks down into two seasons. If you are green veins, you're a different season. So your veins are misleading, yeah? Yes, they are misleading. Okay. They're so what, liars. So what color are your veins versus what season were you determined to be? So my veins are a bluey purple. Okay. Add this to the ash lore. Yep. Write that down, y'all. <laughs> Next time you deliver fan art of Ash, make sure that the veins are depicted as bluish purple. This is important. This oh, is gosh. this is important. I'm so excited for all the veiny fan art to come out. Of this. Face full of veins, but at least they're blue and purple. Yeah, I mean, yeah. it's it's accurate. Mm -hmm. Um, so yeah, blue and purple. Yeah, and I am in autumn. I was gonna say, I was gonna say autumn because yeah. you have warm undertones. I apparently. Yeah. I could tell. But here's the thing. Matt is the only person, the only person to correctly guess sure. my season. Yeah. It's because I'm the, I have a feeling everyone else that you probably asked to do it or like volunteered to do it didn't know or didn't like, <laughs> it was one of those where it's like, oh, how was your day? I was fine. You know, like yeah. the, the easy answer. Oh, you're winter. 
Because you're pale. Yeah, right? because I'm pale and I don't get enough sleep. Right. So I just look like so, dead and so, cold so all the time. you're like zombified all the time. Basically, yeah. yeah. No, but uh, I no, you clearly have warm undertones. Clearly. Which nar- yeah, clearly. Which narrows you down to wow. spring and autumn. Mm. And then from there that becomes into are you more pastels or vibrant, like deeper saturated colors. And because of your red hair and because of your pale skin, you're going to look better in deeper saturated colors. Which well, is now why I wish spring. I just asked you. There you go. And we'll there you save go. you whatever you paid. <laughs> That's why style theory exists. It's there true. it is. Yeah. No, uh, so we'll have to wardrobe you up, I guess. Yeah. Right, because you don't have a whole lot of autumn colors. Everything I have is like black, black. <laughs> or gray or like a very cold, cool blue. Mm-hmm. Everything. Well, there you go. Cool. Yeah. Nice. I'm glad. I'm glad we've learned something. Yeah. Me too. Yeah. Me too. Mm-hmm. And then I went and I ate at the International Food Fest. Oh, nice. It was a crazy weekend for me. I was gonna say you, you were popping off this weekend. I, I did everything. A little bit of everything. Yeah. A little bit of everything all, all of the, the t- time. Yep. <laughs> all the time. All of the time. And by all the time, I do mean Saturday. Yeah. And then Sunday was just like. <laughs> yeah, basically. <laughs> that, that, and then what you do Saturday? That exact sound. Yeah, right there. That was it the whole day. So without any further ado, I think we have been in this, right? Well, I don't think so. <laughs> no. <laughs> I don't think so. I don't think so. I do not think so. Because yeah, what's up? Because I feel bad yeah. that I didn't get a lot about your weekend. Oh, that's sweet of you. That's nice and of you. And I want to know all about your weekend. Oh, my, 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 my weekend was uh, actually, so this was the first weekend. We just got back from New York where we were doing the Great House stuff. Um, and so this was my first weekend back to kind of like, like reclaim life. Uh, we have Ollie's birthday party that's coming up soon. And so I was working in the backyard. Actually, there's been this fence I've been trying to build for the last year, uh, but in fits and starts because it's been so busy. So I was out sweating away doing manual labor all weekend. Um, losing a lot of, losing a lot of fluids Mm. through my hard physical labor, you know, workman mat pad. I was, I was assuming my, uh, Matthias Pathias realness by building my, I was raising my own barn. Oh. Building my own fences. You were Pathiasing. I was Pathiasing all weekend, (laughs) but I was losing a bunch of fluids. However, I was replenishing them with our sponsor for today's episode. (laughs) Yeah. Um, no, I was, you know, it's out in the sun and so you're. And sweating to the oldies, hammering away at this fence. And so with my air up, I was able to consume large volumes of water, uh, you know, with it adding zero calories but tasting great. Um, I've been focusing on my summery flavors lately. Ooh. So a lot of uh, basil lemon, which is oh, nice and refreshing outside. One. Yeah. Basil lemon. But I've also been dipping into the blueberry because it's also like light and refreshing and berry y. But not like overly berry y, like the mixed berry. Great. Um, you know, so that's been, that was me. Stayed, huh? stayed good. Staying on top of it. However, I will say, since I am in the process of customizing my life. Oh, and since we're, t- oh, Ash. Matt. Since we're talking about color seasons. Yes. What should the color season of my air up bottle be? <gasps> Oh my gosh. What should the color, cause, cause this is the default, right? The default comes with the orange and everything. But the thing about air ups is not only can you customize the flavors like I've been doing, but you can also customize the color season of your, like, of the, like the strap and the mouthpiece and stuff. What should it be? What is the mood of my air up bottle? Ooh, what is the mood of it? Um, I mean, do we have those kind of like pastel colors that light and bright? Uh, let's see. Yeah. We have a, here, 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 here. I'm going to change it up. We're going to change it up. We're going to do a color analysis. Oh, your veins are very greenish purple, which is not a, which is not a combination that exists. It's like, ooh, you're weird. (laughs) Ooh, you're a weird mix. You're an in-betweener. We got a, how about this? We got a mint. Oh, that's lovely. Yeah, like a mint color. That's lovely. And then let's complement it with another kind of cooler tone, which will be our, let's see. Pop it up. Let's do, let's do this. Oh, okay. Yeah, some blue. Yeah. Oh, wait. Up, up, there, here. Oh, yeah, there it is. Oh, I'm feeling this for you, air up bottle. I'm feeling this for you. She's beautiful. Wow. I know, it's, it's kind of color contrasty. Yeah. 
She's she's vibing. She she's out here. I, I love that we've collectively determined that my air up bottle is is a she. Yeah. There we go. And now with the blueberry to match. Oh wow. Living it up. She's in her blue era. She is. Oh, I totally missed the I totally missed the mark on this guy. There we go. It was like slightly off center. There we go. Pew, nice. Just like that. Change to match the mood. She's cute. Right? I kind of stand. Yeah. I kind of stand. Beautiful. <laughs> uh, but yeah, that was that was my workout weekend uh, where I was sipping on some air up, working on some fencing, mm -hmm. staying hydrated. Yes. And uh, switching up my uh, flavor profiles. Love great. that for mm -hmm. you. That's that's me. But what should the people do if they want to switch up their flavor profiles? And match their color seasons? Yeah. Oh, well, you know what they can do? They can go to a website that will appear in the description below. You know what they could do if they feel like switching up their color seasons and staying hydrated while they're working on fences over the summer? Uh, you can go to the description below where there is a special link and you can save 20% off your first air up purchase with the code GTL. Use GTL for 20% off. That was easy. So there you go. Save 20% off your air up order by going to the description below and you too can customize your jumbo water bottle that stays cool even in the hot sun, because this is uh, insulated, which is great, uh, that stays cool in the hot sun, while also changing up your flavor and your style. Match your mood, match your life, match your flavor, air up. That yeah. isn't an official spot. <laughs> Clearly, that is not an official <laughs> sponsored motto, but it exists It now. can be here. So now I need all of y'all to go into the comments. Mm. I want you to drop your color season, your favorite summer flavor, and what color you're trying to get your air up bottle to be. Holy cow, you're asking for way too many things. Um, okay, you, so pick you your know, favorite. You know, there is analytics to prove that if you ask people to do too many things, they will do none of them. Okay. You get one choice. Okay, so go into the comments yes. and put in your favorite summer flavor so that we can all think about Air Up and just how good tasty it is. Good tasty? How good tasty yummy it is. Right, tasty but still water. Yeah, tasty but still water. No artificial sugars, no artificial flavors, literally just scent into your nostril cavities. It's very refreshing. You this can kind it. of feel it going all throughout. Right? Yeah. Permeating. Yeah, it's like yeah. a nice little like nasal cleanse. Odiferous. Odif odiferous? Odiferous, yeah. Ooh. Yeah. Is that like Latin? Odiferous? Yeah. <laughs> I think you're confusing it with Odysseus. <laughs> oh! <laughs> that's, that's, a, that's a different guy. <laughs> oh my God, so Odysseus <laughs> went on an odyssey. <laughs> odiferous went into my nose. <laughs> Hey, how about we play some Blood Knights, huh? <laughs> yeah. Thanks, Arab, for sponsoring this episode. <laughs> Smooth, brilliant transitions there all across the board. It was wonderful. I love us. Okay. Return to Bloody Knights Wednesday. Let's hop into this, huh? Yeah. <laughs> hello, William. How are you doing today? Hello, hello. Hello, Henry. I'm doing well. Thank you for asking. How about Thank you for asking. I'm doing all right. Oh, I need to crank I up the audio. To base with you about something. Just leaving. I heard just that some of the frame, employees saw a preview of the new animatronics design, and they were a bit concerned that there we go. They looked a little too scary and robotic. They're scary. Okay. What were your so thoughts? last time we were standing? Well, uh, William I can understand and why they might think the that. Little couple. They are. But I assure you, this the like final project will be they much more child-friendly. The employees friends only saw a work in progress. And we're still fine-tuning the details. Maybe my assumption that there was a Mrs. Afton right, was wrong William. all along. We don't need any negative experiences from our young guests. They're just scorned lovers the entire As time. As I mentioned before, There's a head I've been studying you. child psychology to ensure that the animatronics right, I know we watched this last time, but to positive, set the mood. Positive, safe right. experience. Back into it. I'm confident that we'll achieve that goal. I believe my robots will be the best around. Look at how excited he is. All right, then. I trust your expertise in this area. On a personal note, how are you holding up with with the uh, divorce proceedings? Henry is the, the secret other. It's been a difficult other. time, Henry. He's the mistress. I won't lie about that. <laughs> but I'm doing my best to keep my focus on my work and my children. They're the most important thing to me. So is Charlotte for me. She's my only family. I just want you to remember that it's okay for you to take some time to yourself. Yeah, self-care. Henry, yeah, preaching that self-care life. So true, bestie. Don't Henry. forget to take a break and recharge. Thank you for the reminder. 
I appreciate your concern. The fact that William Afton is trying to take British care accent of myself as well and my work is something that has never really been no addressed. No problem, William. Like, here we'll he is operating his like evil murder business take out of care. Utah, but he's got a Henry. British accent. It's an interesting choice. It is. I don't know what that means. Does that mean anything? Is that important in any way? Probably not. Mm. Probably just a random creative decision that Scott made at one point. He's like, I'm operating out of Hurricane Utah, but whatever. All right. Greetings, my dear employee. Congratulations on making it to night three. The simple fact that you're here listening to me means that you've made a glorious contribution to Fazbear Entertainment. Glorious. On behalf of the founders and myself as the CEO of the company, I want to thank you for your participation and That's dedication couple, to this job. We hope that we can count on you for another week of your excellent service. Ooh, Unless you've got some big dreams you're chasing after. So, tell me, have you seen anything weird the past couple of nights? Certainly not! You know, no. I want to know every little detail going on in this fine establishment. But if you didn't report nothing this morning, I'll assume everything's all good. Speaking of which, have you ever wondered how this place operates during the day? Despite all the rumors and investigations, it's actually pretty great. I mean, I was taking a stroll around here earlier and saw some kids jumping into the ball pit and having a blast. <laughs> they even it. pretended it was a time machine. No silly kids. Kids these days. Ball pits is time machines. Huh. I tell you, sometimes those kids have more imagination in their pinkies than most adults have in their whole bodies. So true. It's a shame we lose that spark as we get older. Mm -hmm. But hey, that's what Fazbear Entertainment is all about. Bringing a little magic back into our lives, right? And you're Fancy. a crucial part of making Fun. that happen. So keep up the good work. Actually, I have a little something for you in case you're interested in earning an additional $20. Sign me up. We're recording some lines for the instruction tapes regarding the spring lock technology. Love it. And I think you'd be perfect for the job. I agree. You got a great voice, kid. All you have to do is I'm read some text into a recording machine, and I'll make <laughs> sure you're compensated for your time. You don't got to learn nothing fancy. Just be the voice on the tapes. Oh, jeez. We want to oh. send them to every pizzeria that uses new spring lock costumes. How cool is that? All How right, cool you'll meet our new assistant. Her name is Karen. She's going to tell you exactly what to do. Great then. Keep up the good work and keep on keeping on. Until next time, stay safe and don't forget to check those cameras. Stay hydrated. See you soon. Hey, hey, Fred. He's just saying hello. Right, just waving. Just hi. That was disturbing. He just kind of popped in there. It was nice of him. You know, he's very friendly looking. He was. He was. He was like, hello. Hello. Hey, guys. Oh, he's coming around again. Coming around the bend. He'll be coming around the hallway when he comes. He'll be coming around the hallway when he comes. He'll be coming around the hallway. He'll be coming around the hallway. He'll be coming around the hallway when he comes. He'll be jumping on my forehead when he comes. Chomp, chomp. He'll be jumping on my forehead when he comes. Chomp, chomp. He'll be jumping on my forehead. He'll be jumping on my forehead. He'll be jumping on my forehead when he comes. 83. <laughs> we'll be losing frontal lobes when he comes. <laughs> we'll be losing frontal lobes when he comes. We'll be losing frontal lobes, we'll be losing frontal lobes, we'll be losing frontal lobes when he comes. Great. I'm so proud of us. Ooh, hello. Hello, puppet. Hello. Oh, God, every time. Stop it. Not okay. I haven't heard a thunk. Did he thunk away? I missed the thunk. Thunk. Okay, he's coming down. I think we, we, you're thunked at this point, right? You better be. Oh, oh. God! Holy jeez! That, that is so scary! <laughs> it is so intense! Every time! Every time! So disturbing. Okay, he's coming back. Are you thunked? Are you done? Okay, I'm gonna say you're thunked. 
I need to recharge my bats. So spoopy for no reason. Right? Other than just to spoop. Just to say hi. He's like, hello. Hi. Hello there, neighbor. <laughs> Except not hello, neighbor. Not to be confused. I can't believe we still haven't done that. Don't get it twisted. <laughs> there's going to be a game theory. Spoiler alert. There's going to be a game theory where I go through the hello, neighbor uh, uh, pilot episode frame by frame. Frame by frame. And the theory is going to be, did Matt Pat enjoy going through this frame by frame? <laughs> That is an actual episode that will be done at some point before the end of this year. No joke. I love that for us. Right? I feel like that's an appropriate episode. Poor Tiny Build. I feel like they're never going to catch a break. It's the episode that we all wanted. <laughs> the, it might not be the episode they wanted, but it's the episode that we deserve. <laughs> okay, okay, he's wait, hold on. He's still, he's still there. He's, he's still While alive. we're talking about this... Um, I'm gonna see if we can, I'll talk to my people yeah. and we'll see if we can include a little eye card in the corner. Um, but there's an episode where we were intending to play Hello Neighbor 2. Um, yeah, please. And then divulged into absolute chaos. And did not play Hello Neighbor 2. No. Oh, we, oh, who is this? Who is this? I'm concerned about that spooky, weird, oh, jeez, hello. Oh. I saw him, I knew that time he was coming, good. Okay, I got you, oh, oh. back up. Hello. There's there there be glitches happening over there. Okay. Hey. What what was that ghost bunny? And he's back. Not great. Not great. Okay, he's he's back here. So you're here. Okay, he's there. He's there. What was that ghost bunny? There's so much. I believe they call him Booney. <laughs> ghost Booney. <laughs> ghost Booney. I. Oh, oh, hello. I got. It. Oh my god! How did you get there so fast? You were literally a second ago. No. <sighs> Spring Bunny comes from the right. Listen close for Brit. Uh, it's gone. And and it's gone. <laughs> Shoot. No, he was like he was two steps away from his final move. Yeah. Life comes at you fast, man. But death comes at you faster. It comes at you faster. Darn it. <laughs> oh man. I thought for sure we had that. I am shocked. I'm like, oh yeah, we got this. I felt like I had a good handle on things. The lore of this game, I'm actually really interested in. Go figure. Whoa, map had is interested in lore, shock of all shocks. But no, in all in all honesty, like I think this one is is really cool because as it's you? presented to us, there's only the two bunny characters, right? And clearly there is some weird like glitch in the system. There is some Greetings, other elements here. Oh, geez. Congratulations on there we go. But clearly there's a lot more going on here between like the weird glitching that we're seeing on the cameras. Um you know, the fact that, like, there's secret messages that are coming through. Like, I want, during these, like, glitchy moments, to, to pause. I wish I, there was a way I could pause it and actually look at what the message it's trying to communicate to us is. I'm wondering what this glitch bunny thing is. I'm curious about a lot of what's going on here. Just saying. It's a cool, it's a cool game. And again, like, the aesthetics sell it. The voice acting is solid. It looks great. Um... And it's simple, like it's it's classic FNAF. It's not overcomplicated. I, I like it. I like it a lot. This is a this is one of the the best fan games that we played in a long time. It feels like, and I feel like the overall quality of fan games when it comes to FNAF has just like elevated so much. Like, it it always was at a high caliber, and and it's interesting how certain fandoms attract certain types of fan creations, and it's been awesome to see FNAF inspire just like so many budding game designers and to watch everyone's like levels increase year over year over year. It's, it's, it's been awesome to witness. It's so incredible. I should probably be worried about the puppet below me at this point, huh? Yeah. Well, tough, I'm not. It's going through. 1 a.m., we're fine. Okay, yeah, let's take him. Great. Up, up. I think it's cool that canonically we're at the end of June beginning of July in this yeah. game. I don't know why. I'm just like, huh, okay. Right? 
It's interesting. It's, we should, we yeah. should, unfortunately, if we could have timed our production calendar better, we could have played this on 629. Um, that would have been fun. We're close, because we're close. We we're are. We're missing it like, just a little bit. Just a smidgen. Just a smidge. But, you know, there's timeliness factors. I know. There's backlogging factors. I understand. We've yeah. got a lot of travel coming up. We Stuff. do. Stuff. We do. Life, life come, life is life is a lot. Life is a lot. Life is a lot. Adulting is hard. <laughs> it is. Commitments tough. Running a business very difficult. YouTubing hard. YouTubing hard. A lot of stuff. I mean, it doesn't have to be. We make it too hard for ourselves. Here's the self awareness that I've been having over over the course of my life over the last couple of weeks. It's like we make this really hard on ourselves. <laughs> we do. Like we do. We're like, hey, let's let's do all the projects and then do like three more on top of like yeah take all the projects that we can do in a normal week's course of events which is already probably too many and then add three more on top of that and let's right. that's enough that's good we're set there i think that sounds fun yeah that's challenging in a very healthy way <laughs> is it healthy <laughs> totally it healthy way? yeah because there's a calendar involved we're planning excel spreadsheets yeah y'all we recently great. got excel oh my god Okay, awesome. Ash is gonna Ash is gonna get hype about Excel right now. Okay, can I? Is that okay? Yeah, please, please. Okay, y'all. The, the Microsoft Office Suite is something that uh, merits <laughs> celebration, 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 Ce celebration, celebration, celebration. Happy celebration to all of us. I got the email of my dreams a couple weeks ago of, of their dreams and it was granting microsoft 365 access and we got access to the whole suite so i got excel which i don't know i've always been an excel girly i'm i'm cool at google sheets we're buds but <laughs> some about the smooth animations that you find in excel when you're going from cell to cell mm, man it just, it, it fulfills a different need, a want, a desire. I will say Google Sheets does not hit quite the same. It doesn't hit the Google same Sheets. way. It doesn't. No, Excel is a much better product. Oh my it's interesting. gosh. Yeah, no. it's it's funny how Google Docs and, uh, and Word Docs are basically like one and the same. In fact, I prefer Google like d Word documents at this point. But, um, but yeah, when it comes to... When it comes to Excel and data processing, it, no, or nothing nothing beats it. Nothing beats it. This is so strange to me. Excel, we have it, and I've been making this crazy GT Live spreadsheet in there, y'all. You would not believe how crazy it has gotten. The lists are going large. We have color coding. The conditional formatting is on point. And sometimes I just look at it, and I hit the down arrow button. And then I hit the up arrow button, and it's like, yeah, nice. And it just feels so great. So I've been pulling up the spreadsheet whenever Matt comes into the room, and we're looking at the spreadsheet, and I feel great looking at the spreadsheet. It's awesome. But in addition to Excel, we have my favorite application, and that's Microsoft PowerPoint. Wow. Oh, I, I, my God. <laughs> wow. This... <laughs> Welcome to Bloody Nights, where Ash <laughs> rants positively, in a positive way, about all their favorite office uh, suite products. Well, it was like a year ago now I first told y'all about my love for PowerPoint. And I now I can migrate some of my um, most famous PowerPoints over to these updated applications. And maybe we can finally have our theorist PowerPoint night. Oh my gosh, can we? Yes. Hey, there's those there's, are horrible sounds. There's definitely someone who's like screaming out. <laughs> oh god! Oh, <laughs> How are you so stoic? Shoot! What did it say in the corner? I don't know. I was too busy being scared. Huh? That's a different animatronic. It was. Right? Different. The screams of horror and like death and destruction <sighs> were definitely ominous and scary. It was different. It, yeah. Darn it. That does show me that I don't have to do a whole lot until 3 a.m. We're not making as much progress as I had hoped, Ash. I thought this was going to be one and done. I know. 
thought it was going to be different. We always do. We always do. But the FNAF, least games, the FNAF games never work out the way that you expect them at to. At least it's not Greetings, juniors. my dear employee. At least it's not what? At least it's not juniors. You remember that episode oh, one. Oh, I certainly do remember juniors. Oh, I, I remember. There's been many, many an episode where we were like, oh, yeah, we're going to pop in. It'll be fine. Glitched attraction, probably the most infamous of those. Oh, God. Where what was up. like, oh, this is going to be super fun. Ended up, and it's a great game. But holy cow. <laughs> the last episode. Hours and hours and we hours. We cut down hours. like five hours of content. It, was one of it the took that long. It was one of the most like, took us the longest. And we cut the most amount of time out of it. Yeah. It's because there was so much of just, like, grinding away at it. So much just, like, Diet Coke after Diet Coke. It was bad. I was, like, uh, yeah. exasperated yeah. size. Mm -hmm. And it wasn't interesting. Like, at a certain, at a certain, like, there's, there's a limit to, like, hey, we're doing interesting content. We're performing for you. We're ranting about Microsoft Office presentation <laughs> tools. You know, <laughs> you know, all the stuff that you come to a typical gaming channel to, to witness and watch. <laughs> you know, hey, let's talk about our favorite wipes and transitions in a PowerPoint. Right. All, all the discussion and witty banter that you expect out of a typical Five Nights at Freddy's episode. Yeah. Right? But then sometimes you got to crack down and actually play the game. Right. And not just sit on a single screen trying to exploit the gameplay because you know that this is the optimized strategy, at least for the first three hours of the night. Sometimes that happens. Sometimes it happens. Yeah. Sometimes it do be that way. There was like a whole bit in the cut glitched attraction content of just us discussing what we might want on the burritos that the people in the office were ordering, but we yeah. couldn't get out there to like properly look at the menu because we right. were busy looking at the glitched attraction. True. It was crazy. But uh, seriously though, I am very curious about your favorite PowerPoint transitions. Cause, cause let's be honest, making the PowerPoint kind of sucks. Uh, not, not really my favorite part of the process, but when you get to the end and you're at that like moment of like, now I just get to decide what the transitions are. That's awesome. You see that, that mindset is because Matt and I have not had an in-depth PowerPoint discussion yet. Really? Yeah. I, there is a craft in PowerPointing. Oh, sir. Oh, certainly. There are, there are shapes and graphics that you are not utilizing. No, Stephanie. So when Stephanie applied to her first like big kid, big kid job, when she was applying to uh, being a consultant at a uh, like a biotech consulting company uh, after her master's degree, part of her interview was a, here's a slide, recreate it. And you have like half hour, 45 minutes or whatever to do it. And I mean, it was testing out stuff, like very detailed stuff, like how do you construct the graph? How do you, like, is there shadows on the, you know, the bars? Like, how are you changing the scales on either side? Like, I mean, it was a pretty elaborate test. Like she showed it to me and she did a great job with it, but it was not easy. I'd um, love to do that. Yeah, right? And it seemed like one of those fun job interview things. Yeah. You know, where it's like, oh, that's a cool thing. It's not like, tell me about your history and resume. But like, it was like, oh, that's actual practical skills that they're testing you on. And that's pretty interesting. No, like. But okay, what doing, tools am I not using in my PowerPointing? Ash? I mean, there are like specific animations and like blending options. Yeah. Um, that allow you to do really cool like cutouts pop-outs using like different textures from your downloads folder y'all it can go pretty crazy for my um many backstories of apollo justice powerpoint um the beginning like when you get to um like past that title one you have your table of contents slide and it has four little buttons where it breaks down the main chapters of where i have like apollo's backstory right and when you click on it it makes the same noise as like when you're on the Apollo Justice like DS menu and you hit new gain and it has like the gavel sound effect and it blinks a little bit and then it'll skip to that. Oh, it's so cool. It's so cool. It's so fun. You can make it fun. You can make it zesty. Like there is nothing like don't limit yourself when you're in that PowerPoint. And you know what? If you're in school, if you're in school right now and you don't super know what you're talking about in class. You can make up for it with a cool PowerPoint presentation. Take my word for it. It's true. A lot, uh, presentation and finesse go a long way. Like, that's how I got through French class. I am not good at speaking French. My accent is bad. My pronunciation ain't great. But tell you what, I had some bangers of presentations where I made the class laugh, the teacher laugh, 
like the little skits that you have to do in like language classes, all about it. Yeah. And my teacher ate it up. Oh, darn it. Oh, darn it. Oh, Give him the okay. old razzle dazzle, y'all. Give him the old razzle dazzle. Razzle dazzle him. I'm so serious. If you can put together a good presentation, you can get away with speaking about like any topic. You could do it. No, I didn't want that. Okay, okay, okay. So true. Speaking of job interview questions, I interviewed for, oh my gosh, what is that? I, I don't know what you are, but you look deadly. <laughs> oh boy, oh boy. Oh boy, I don't know what that's supposed to be either. Who, who is here? Who all be here right now? I don't like that I'm generating this much heat. And I don't see anyone. Okay, you're there. Okay, 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 okay. You gone? Great. Jeez, oh jeez, this is bad news. Okay, he's in the back now. He's over there, okay, can, I'm good to close this. Oh wait, I gotta get down, get down. Don't forget down. Oh my gosh! Holy cow! No, sir! No, thank you! Okay, he's back. He's not there. Okay, hi! Who invited the ghost fox? Get out! Get out! Stop this is it! Scary. Oh no! Oh no! Oh my god, what the heck? Well, he was in the back, wasn't he? He was in the back of the hallway! Was he not in the back of the hallway? What if the back of the hallway is actually the entrance and our perspective is wrong? What if, Ash? <laughs> what if? <laughs> Should I not be using the cameras? That's a question. Oh, okay. Like, is this a FNAF 2 situation where it's just like, check, check, down, check, check, down, check, check, down, check, check, down, check, check, down. Pattern? Pattern? Uh, you could try it. I'm gonna try it. Let's, there's, got, there's an optimized strategy here. I think once they're on the move, I think it becomes that. So anyway, as I was saying, I interviewed for Google, and like, and and uh, I eventually like they said that they would hire me. This is back before I was doing the YouTube thing, or I was I was doing the YouTube Greetings thing as a employee. like resume item to try and get hired, as opposed to um, as opposed to you know as as work. Um, and this was before I started to like find audience development at a, a different company and this and that. This was when I was like in the period where like no one's hiring me, so I applied to Google and. They interviewed me for this like interesting creative position for like the, the the marketing ads that are the more like creative or like emotional ones where it's like the the most iconic one that that team did was like the telling the story of a person's life through their Google searches where oh. they're like wedding venue you know how to have a kid you know like raising a child best cribs or whatever like and it's this awesome ad that's like all the ways they use Google at various points throughout your life it's it's awesome I love that ad um, but I was slated to work on that team or at least that was the the what the position was for and i got through like three rounds of interviews and they're like oh man we we love you everyone on the team loves you you are hired the last thing is just you have to come down we're gonna fly you out to the office in in san francisco um and we're going to you know put you through like the the final round of interviews but it's more just like a personality fit thing um you know it's it, you practically got the job was was basically what they told me and so I went out, I got myself a really nice suit, especially since I was an actor who, you know, was earning nothing. Um, <laughs> neg negative, earning the negative dollars. Um, and I was there, and I, so I bought this really nice suit in preparation for this, and then they ghosted me. <gasps> what? I never heard back. Like, <gasps> the, like, they were like, oh, we'll reach out with travel details, this and that, and then never. And I'm like, hey, you still there? Like, what happened? Hey, hey, you told me that I had this job. Like, hey. I, I think it was one of those things where like because especially in those days 
the business was growing so much. There were so many other people being hired. There was a lot of transition between companies at the time. I think that my contact or the guy who was in charge of my case got lost in the shuffle or maybe I got lost in the shuffle or whatever and never, I never heard back again. And so I went from, yes, I've got this really cool job. I'm excited. I'm so excited to work at Google. I hear that it's a great company to work for or whatever, you know, and, and, this is the moment that kind of like pulls me out of this like situation where I'm having a really hard time finding anyone to hire me to, hey, this is gonna be an awesome opportunity, it's gonna be creative, everything, to, oh no, it is, I have, I'm back to square one, I got nothing, and then enter into a period of probably another like three quarters of a year where no one would hire me. And, and so like it was back to just like, it went from, yes, I've got this unlock and all the hard work has paid off to, oh, no, back to square one and looking around and stuff. It was, it was tough. That was a blow. But the reason I bring that up is not to tell my sob story while I wait for 3 a.m., 4 a.m. to roll around, um, but when things start to get super serial, uh, but rather because we're talking about interesting, fun things that you don't even know, um, I wanted to ask... The, the Google interview question. So especially back in that day, Google was infamous for their Google interview questions uh -oh. where they would ask you like a weird thing that tested the way that you think. <laughs> um, just about like your process, right? Okay. And so here here is my weird, there, I know a bunch of them and I practiced a bunch of them just in case I needed to ever pull it out. But one of them was one of the famous ones, right? is if you were shrunk down to the size of like a, a dime and you were dropped into a blender that's about to go off, what do you do? I hear someone. That's interesting. I hear someone. I heard someone. Back up. Back over, back up. Down. Everyone's being quiet. Don't like that. It's quiet. Too quiet. It's too quiet. It is too quiet. I have logistics questions about the blender. Okay, ask away. Is there anything in the blender? Like, are we making a smoothie situation right now? Um, let's say no, it's an empty blender. It's an empty blender, okay. And I'm about the size of a dime. Okay. Oh man, this makes me wish I knew about like, air physics within a blender. <laughs> the way that like, wind, oh. The gusts go. Because my impulses stay at the bottom, like stay underneath the blade, right? Uh huh. Sure. Yeah, that's a good. Uh huh. That's a good one. Hello. Yeah, I th I think yeah because of the vortex action that the blender creates. It's like I don't know anything about that, so stay underneath where the air is going. Sure. That's a, <laughs> I, I think that is a valid answer. The so one of the things so you already went on the the right route which is, so one of the things they're looking for with those interview questions, right, is what sort of questions or what sort of information are you looking for to come up with an answer, right? What was that sound? I don't know what that sound was. Ugh. Don't love it. I don't, don't like the little... Don't love this. But yeah, what sort of stuff are they, are you, are you looking for to come up with your answer, right? So the fact that you're like, hey, are, ooh, hello. The fact that you were like, hey. Okay, he's gone. The fact that you're like, hey, are there other things in the blender? Or are we making like a smoothie or whatever? That's exactly the sort of stuff that they are looking for, right? So the fact that you asked that is, is great. Cool. Good for you. Um, this is also the speed of the blender in which we are blending. But that just so, is to raise the stakes, right. I guess. Uh, one of the answers that people seem to like with that one is, hey, is it a glass cylinder? Is it a glass blender? Or is it a, um, or, 
sorry, is it glass or is it plastic, right? Because the glass ones tend to have elements in them that measure, like have the like indents that measure how high or low the level is. And so you could climb out those little indents. Oh, that is such those specific blender lore. Right, that's spe very specific blender lore. Oh, that's so interesting. Okay, so. I'm not exposed to that many blenders to have considered that, but that's really smart. Was that a thump? Did he thump away? He must, he must have thumped away, right? He must have thumped away. Is anyone thumping away? Did you thump away? Why ain't you thumping away? You be thumping? You be thumping. Okay, he be thumping. Oh, no. No. There's definitely a ghost there. Oh, shoot. 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 Bad news bears. <laughs> You're dead. In FNAF history, the most undeserved completion ever. Your jump scares are a short and effective game, but not short enough. Wow. <laughs> he dropped down as soon as 6 a.m. hit. <laughs> right. He's like, oh, I'm going to go. <laughs> Ripping your face. No. <laughs> Bleh, dead. Bleh. And dead. It's like me on the Sunday. Yes. Yes! Okay. Woo-hoo-hoo! That was close. All right. Let's do another one. Here, I have another Google question for you. I will ask it. <coughs> Excuse me, I'm dying. Are, are you okay? My air up went down my wrong throat. <gasps> Better get more water. My wrong pipe. Okay. I have a new Google question for you. I'm going to ask you it. So you can think about it while we watch these cutscenes. Okay. Okay, because we're gonna watch these cutscenes, and I know the cutscenes tend to be long in this game, so it'll give you a chance to think about your answer or what questions you have. All right. Okay. So if th this was the one I had for my interview, <gasps> so this is the one that because every interview back in the day had one of these. <clears throat> if you were to stack quarters to the height of the Empire State Building, would you be able to fit that stack of quarters inside of a typical room? Think about it. Thursday night, bloody nights. Let's do it. <coughs> Hello, William. How are things going with the new restaurant? Busy, but we're on track for a successful opening tomorrow. Mm. Glad to hear it. And have you taken all the necessary safety measures? Here, Henry, save I don't seats. need anyone telling me how to run my business. Uh oh, and those employees who think otherwise can find work elsewhere. Oh, please. Uh, Understood. And what about your family? How's everyone doing? Oh. Elizabeth has been with me at work for the past few days. Mm. But as for Michael and Evan... Evan Afton! They've been influenced by their mother's lies. Oh, jeez. Michael is too busy being a typical rebellious teenager. <laughs> Teenagers. And Evan is just a young child who doesn't understand the situation. Frankly... I'd rather keep my distance from them for the time being. They're at home at the moment. Fortunately, that's not really an option when you're a parent in a lot of cases. Have you tried to have a conversation with your wife about this? Hmm. It's not worth the effort. She's always been self-centered. Doesn't care about the family's well-being. She's even had the audacity to call me a hypocrite. But let's not focus on that right now. Let's talk about the restaurant. Oh, Can man. We? Uh, sure. Feel like but, some issues don't here that forget about up. your family. They're important too. 
I don't need you to remind me of that. I know it's important. Now, if there's nothing else, I have work to do. Man, Williams decided to quickly overnight. Actually, I just wanted to say that I worry about you. Oh. I hope the restaurant's success will make you happy. Henry, best boy. Thank you for your concern. I appreciate it, but I have no time for your pity. I'll talk to you soon. Henry, number one boy! Henry... He's our number one boy! He just cares about William! What a sweetheart! What a great... Oh, look at the family! All together. What a happy, happy, weird family. Hey, four! I must say I'm impressed with your work so far. <laughs> you shouldn't be. I've died a lot of times. I'm proud of you. Ah, my neck. Mm. Uh, feels like it's been bitten in half and twisted like a pretzel. And I slept like a rock last night, but I woke up feeling like I got hit by a truck. I had this weird dream where I was half robot, half human, and let me tell you, I wasn't pretty. Is this security My breach now? My legs were replaced with rusty old scrap metal, and I was clunking around like some kind of junkyard Frankenstein. That's a Fazbear Fright story. <laughs> Can you imagine Get it? me like that? Talk about a nightmare. Anyway, enough about my weird dreams. Now, I must confess, I forgot to mention something earlier. We have some new robot prototypes in the building that we just introduced yesterday. Oh! My apologies for not mentioning this earlier, but you handled the situation like a pro, and no damage was done. Kudos to you. Now, those robots are brand spanking new. They haven't even had their first oil change yet. They require some more work before they're ready for prime time. And to be honest, they're giving me the heebie-jeebies. Especially that new bunny one. What? On the bright side, that bunny's new hide-and-seek function is going to be a hit with the kids. Just make sure it doesn't start seeking you out, too. Well, what? <laughs> Not that confident you'll handle it. You seem like a tough cookie. Alright, so stick to the standard procedures oh and keep God. those robots out. Oh, by the way, I'm glad you participated in this morning's voice recording session for the tapes. Good help. You sounded fantastic. Nice. Who knows? Maybe I'll need you again for any updates. Ah, sure. Now, hold on a moment. I'm being interrupted. What's up, Karen? There's this document that just arrived. What? Ooh, she's it's, talking in purple. Oh, it's better for you to look at it. Uh, you go. A noticed document about the closure of all our restaurants due to investigations Ooh. regarding one of the founders being... <laughs> oh my gosh! Holy jeez! Oh my lord! <laughs> no! <laughs> what the heck? Oh no! <laughs> that was violent! Wow! Wow! Thanks for the cold open, Matt. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no worries. Wow, night four is a different beast. You got the wow. you got the puppet doing whatever the puppet's doing. Just like, oh hey, I'm just gonna laugh in your face for some reason. Oh wow! And <sighs> the spring trap just literally. <laughs> Smacking you upside the head. So the red text on that mentioned yeah. something about him playing hide and seek in the cameras. Oh, is that so what? So that's why he was doing the cover his eye thing. So you need to close the door when you see that. Okay. He's gonna be like hide and seek, but you're not here. It comes. You're dead. Bah. Really? Is that what it is? Yeah. Wow. All right. So I guess that prevents me from doing my old uh, back and yeah. forth. Yeah. Sorry like about they, it. It's almost like they thought about it. Shoot. All right. We didn't even get through the tape, did we? No. Mm. We got technically two jump scares during the tape. The tape is the tapes are long. To be fair, I want to listen to the tapes. I think the tapes are enjoyable, and I want to hear them for the lore. But the tapes are long, and they're going deep into the nights, and we've got like things attacking us in them. It's crazy. All right, real quick, before I start this up, have you thought about my question? You know, I forgot about it after the puppet came up. I understand. But okay. I'm thinking about it again Stack now. Stack of quarters, size of the Empire State Building. So, okay, when you say size, are we talking about just like height? Height. Okay, so it can just be one stack of quarters. Correct. Okay. It is one singular stack to the height of the Empire one State stack. Building. Yep. Okay. Can it fit in a room? Hmm. Can it fit in a room? Congratulations okay, on we gotta keep to listening to this. Oh, oh hello. So here he is. So What's far? this tell me? Doing a fine job, and I'm proud of you. Does the fact that I found him uh, mean neck. something? Uh, feels like it's been bitten in half and twisted like a pretzel. I slept like a rock last night, 
but I woke up feeling like I got hit by a truck. I had this weird dream where I was half robot, half human, and let me tell you, I wasn't pretty. My legs were replaced with rusty old scrap metal, and I was clunking around like some kind of junkyard cool. Frankenstein. <laughs> <laughs> Can you imagine me like that? Talk about a nightmare. Anyway, enough about my weird dreams. Now, I must confess, I forgot to mention something earlier. We have some new robot prototypes in the building that we just introduced yesterday. My apologies for not mentioning this earlier, but you handled the situation like a pro, and no damage was done. Kudos to you. Now, those robots are brand spanking new. They haven't even had their first oil change yet. What, what do you want with this? <laughs> what am I supposed to do for you? Ready for prime me? Time. What is your point? And to be honest, this is giving me the heebie-jeebies, especially that new bunny one. But on the bright side, that bunny's new hide-and-seek function is going to be a hit. Okay, hide-and-seek. Funny. Just make sure it doesn't start seeking you out, too. How do I do that? <laughs> How do I do uh, that? How... <laughs> How do I? Mm -hmm. Okay, okay. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it's hard. What's up, Karen? Oh, Karen. There's this document that just arrived. What? It's. Well, Please come. It's better for you to look at it. Uh, a notice document about the closure of all our restaurants due to investigations regarding one of the founders being convicted of a crime. Yes. Including Fred Bear's family. Yes. That's outrageous. I, uh, uh, I know that is outrageous. All right. Unacceptable. All right, I understand. <clears throat> I know, generator gets now, high. Please return to whatever you are doing. I'm so sorry. Thanks for bringing the note, Karen. Karen, Karen, Karen. She's always trying to bring down the company. Let uh, uh -huh. me you, we have nothing to hide and nothing to fear. Fazbear Entertainment is back. as clean as a whistle, and that father is as innocent oh. as a newborn baby. Trust me on this one, kid. I apologize for that interruption. It is unpleasant news, but okay. don't let it get you down. The closure of the restaurants won't mess with your work schedule, so you're good to go. Thanks. Doing what you're doing, and you'll be just fine. Yeah, don't interrupt my work. It's important. Oh yeah, one more thing. If you keep hearing strange noises or distorted voices, it's probably just our new Fred Bear roaming around. Great. You know how these things go, always causing trouble. Great. We're working on fixing its music box, which is also supposed to make him talk. But in the meantime, just remember to keep that door shut if it gets too close to your office. Oh, All righty then. Keep up the good work. Oh. <laughs> okay. So he has a long way to get ahead. So even though I'm seeing him in the background, it takes him a long time to get up there. Yeah, it says close the door, but don't be hasty. Yeah, see, because he was lingering, right? Yeah. So he was there for a while. So once I see him <clears throat> in that kind of like forward position, that's when we hit him. Okay, we're learning stuff. We're learning. I, I feel we got deeper. We, we almost got through the literal, based on the in-game timer, the literal two-hour phone call that this guy has given us, right? Because if we're watching the timer in the game, it goes from midnight to at least 2 a.m. Yes. So he's talking for a long time, which is true. He is talking for a very long time. Um, progress is being made. Real quick, Ash. Hi. Height of the uh, quarter stack. Height of a building. This is so stressful because I want so many numbers. <laughs> yeah. Like... Here, I'm going to start this again, and I'm going to turn off the thing so that way we can, I can just focus on it. Because... Okay. Yeah. You say in a typical room? Yeah. In a typical room? Yep. That's 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 the mandate. Okay. Mm-hmm. So that makes me wonder whether or not the dimensions are really that important. But it has to be. <laughs> but also, how heavy... Would all those quarters be? Ooh, talking about weight. Interesting. Like, hmm. I'm not. I'm not here to help. I'm just. Gonna, oh no, I know. I you're will give not. you feedback at some point. You're probably gonna do that. Hmm. Interesting hmm. thing that you do. Probably. Um. Probably. Yeah. But I don't know. My first thought is also like, yeah. Can it fit in a room? Cool. Can it stay there? Questionable. It's a lot of metal. It's also very tall. I don't remember how many floors the Empire State Building has. Hmm. So how many times are we gonna have to cut this large stack? And then how many different ways can we... Does it have to stay stacked? As in, like, one tall stack? No, it's just, can you fit all those quarters All those in quarters Amber? in there. Okay. 
I feel like it's possible. It would be a lot of division and a lot of changing of orientation in order to fill up all those, like, little spaces between the stacks. Like, you're gonna have to get pretty spunky. Like, my impulse is to put everything on its side. Okay. At least to start. Yep. Also, man, that's gonna be so heavy. Hope you're not trying to walk in that room, starting in the back and then going forward towards the door, because, whew, that's... Because I feel like it would fill up. A good bit of space. Uh -huh. If you're talking about a typical room, even this room, the ceilings are higher than what I would consider standard. But also, like, we're talking about a typical nope. room. I thought that. What, what is your prototype of that? I thought that squeak was gonna be him getting away. But it's not. Okay, his audio's gone. Nope. Okay. <laughs> nope. Never mind. Hello. Okay, he's out. Okay, I'm starting to hear them. Is Can there? I melt the quarters? <laughs> I like that you're melting the quarters. <laughs> well, I'm also thinking about like space optimization. Uh huh. Because if you have little cylinders, and of course there's going to be like little spaces that are uh -huh. open still, yeah. right? Okay, so okay, if we're sure. trying to, whatever you say, if we're talking about fitting all of them in there, close up that space so you can fit as many as possible. Oh! Where were you? Where were you? Where were you? Where were you? I am dead. I know. He's dead. Shoot, shoot, shoot. Ha, shoot. Okay, so what's your final response? What's yes or no? Can it get into a, can it get into a room? Hello, can it get into a room? I want to try, so I'll say yes. <laughs> I want to try. <laughs> it's not whether you can it can or can't. It's whether we try hard enough. Greetings. That's fun. I like that question. Yeah. So the answer is yes, easily. Easily. Mm -hmm. Yeah, because if you think about it, so in my, I did a, I did a similar sort of calculation where I calculated the volume of each one like live, right? I'm like, well, you know, think about a quarter as X, you know, about like half an inch, half an inch, whatever. And then you stack it up, you, you assume, again, it's all about talking through your mental process. Yeah. So it's like you assume that the Empire State Building is about 120 stories. Say, you know, like, yeah. you know, it's going to be like around, say, like 100, right? That seems right. like a decent for a tall building. Then you say like, hey, if it's 120, uh, a, typical, a typical story is how tall? 10 feet. You know, a typical room is probably 10 by 10 by 10. Mm -hmm. And so you're saying, well, that's about, and then you do the math, right? You're like, well, you're talking about uh, 1,200 stack height of quarters. Uh, 120 floors times 10. Yeah, 1,200. And then what you do from that point is you're like, okay, well, if that's the height of the stack, what's the volume? Now you're talking about a 10 by 10 room. You know, so it's 10 by 10 by 10 room. That's typical. And that's the definition of like a standard room? I mean, as we define, like that's the part, right? The, the Google part of the question is like, how are you defining these variables? Yeah. In order to calculate an answer, right? So like, let's say, yeah, typical room, say 10 feet high, 10 by 10 by 10, roughly, just as an estimate, acknowledging that there's, you know, that there's error in that. But, oh, okay, he's he's doing his hide and seek thing. What's that mean? He's doing hide and seek thing. What's this mean? What do I gotta do? He's hiding and seeking. Do I, what, what am I doing here? Hello. Get up, get up, get up. Oh, damn it! See, how can you think about stacking quarters when you have these little guys who are just popping out at you? It is tough to multitask with like, this one. <laughs> oh my gosh, keep it on screen longer so I can read it. <laughs> and don't put it in like hidden red box. <laughs> it's so hard. All right, last one. Fred Bear's Family Diner, grand reopening this summer. Free pizza at day one. Nice. Nice. Oh man, you don't know what you've unleashed. Free pizza? I... They had free donut day here at Krispy Kreme. The yeah. line ruined all traffic. It was crazy.
But yeah, so anyway, to put a close on the Empire State <laughs> Building question, just so we can put a wrap on it. Yes, 10 by 10 by 10 by 10. Uh, if you're dealing with a quarter stack, that's decently high. It's, it's more of a question of volume. So height-wise, no, obviously not. But if you're talking about the volume of quarters that that would require, it's yeah. not that high. Break of down the of stacks and it's yeah, you're it's not, good. Yeah, once you start breaking off the stacks, it's fine. Am I just waiting? Wait. A, okay. Hey. Now I just want to look up like Google interview <laughs> questions. Damn it! And put my little like brain into little twists. Right? Yeah, no, Google interview questions are super fun. No, those are really they're, they're fun. They're really fun. Uh, another one was, um, this is a hard one, uh, which was if you put, if you fill a bus, if, if you, I think this was it. No, no, no. Um, if you fill a ship or something, like a, a shipwreck with mm -hmm. ping pong balls, will it raise the ship? Ha! Huh. What? Something like, something like that. That's awesome. Yeah. Right? All right, we got through a day. We sure did. We learned a lot. You I... know what? At the end of the day, we learned something, and that makes us winners, I like to say. Yeah, I we, think so. We learned a little bit about quality hydration opportunities with Aero. Yep. We learned about uh, international food fests and how to build a fence. Uh-huh. We learned about Google interview questions and buildings and architecture. We the... learned about great opportunities with PowerPoint and yes. Excel and, and data management software. Exactly. And, you know, I guess along the way we learned a little bit about how the animatronics in the Return to Bloody Nights work. Not a whole lot, as evidenced by our clear lack of progression, but something. 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 Yes. And I got, and I learned that there are new heights to be had and the amount that a jump scare can get me to jump. That was terrifying. This game is scary and hard. So, without any further, so I guess I guess I will try to finish this up in a third installment, or otherwise I'll be like, ah, can't do it. I'll just watch the cutscenes. Um, so anyway, thank you guys so much for watching and putting up with our random banter throughout this entire episode. <laughs> uh, hopefully, the moderate level of gameplay was enough to carry you through. Uh, and as always, remember, if you stack quarters of the size of an Empire State Building, you can probably fit it in a room. Don't forget, it's not a live stream, but it is a video, a video for you. We'll see ya.